Welcome back to Barbecue and Bottles. And today on the channel, we're gonna be making a keto-friendly chicken thigh recipe. And we're using chicken thighs that still have the skin on. We're gonna turn these into extra crispy chicken thighs. You'll think they're deep fried, but they're not. So we're gonna turn this into this. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick with us. So to start with, we've got 10 chicken thighs that we got from our butcher and we're gonna to wanna to get these out, just spread them out as much as we can, and the more skin, the better, because that's what's gonna turn into be super crispy through this recipe. Now, we're using a 12-inch cast iron pan here, so we've found about 10 of these chicken thighs to be the right amount, but of course, that's ultimately gonna depend on the size of the chicken thighs that you're working with. So now that we've got these laid out, we're gonna make a rub. So for the rub, we're starting off with coarsely ground black pepper. And then we're going in with some granulated garlic. And then we're going in with some kosher salt. Now we're using diamond crystal kosher salt and we're just going in with equal parts of each of these three seasonings. So it's just a simple SPG rub that we're using here. So now we'll just mix it around like this. Get it nice and even, just like that. So now we're just gonna go over and evenly season our chicken thighs. Perfect. Now I'll flip them over and do that on the other side as well. Perfect. Now it's time to fire up the grill. So now we're just gonna get our side burner here ignited. We'll get our cast iron pan down onto the grill. Now we're just gonna add in a neutral oil, like avocado oil. And that's because we're looking for a neutral oil with a high smoke point and avocado oil is perfect for that. So now that we've got the pan heated up and this is on medium high heat, just gonna lay these chicken thighs down in the pan. So we've got the chicken thighs in here, and now we're just gonna let this go until the skin becomes nice and golden brown. That's probably gonna take somewhere between eight to 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna start up the grill and get that warming up. So now we're gonna start up the burners on the main grill. Now I'll set these to about a medium heat, and we're trying to heat our grill to an internal temp of about 400 Fahrenheit, and that's how we're gonna finish off these chicken thighs. So you'll see at the start, we didn't put a lot of oil in the pan. We just wanted enough so that the chicken didn't stick to the cast iron. And you'll see all the fat started to render out of the chicken thighs here. So we've got a really nice base of oil here now. It's, it's more like schmaltz in the bottom of the cast iron. So we're trying to get a beautiful crust just, we're not quite there with this guy, but we're close. So I'll give these another few minutes before we finish them off in the barbecue. So we're at the 10 minute mark here. So let's just take a quick check in on one of these guys. Look, we've got some beautiful coloring in that, in that skin that started to form. So I think these are about ready to go into the barbecue. So we'll turn this off and get these transferred over. So our grill was preheated to 400 Fahrenheit, so we're just gonna transfer over the pan into the grill and get a temp probe in there. So we put that temp probe into the center of the thickest thigh, and we're gonna be cooking this until we hit an internal temp of 165, and then they're done. So our temp probe just registered 165, so we're gonna get this chicken off of the grill. Now we're just gonna get our temp probe out of the way here. Now we'll flip these guys over and just look at the crust that forms on these. Absolutely unreal.
Now we're just gonna go on with a little chopped parsley, just for color. Perfect, now you're done. That took about 20 minutes from start to finish. And now you've got some chicken thighs with the crispiest skin you'll ever imagine. So now there's just one thing left to do and that's the taste test. So I really should let these guys cool down for a little bit, but the smell is just amazing. So I'm gonna dig in. Mm. I don't know if you could hear that crunch, but I'm gonna come up to the microphone just in case. Mmm. That skin is just so good. So crispy. Just look at that. Mmm. Just like it's deep fried. Tastes so good. So there you have it. 20 minutes from start to finish. You've got a really easy keto recipe. These chicken thighs, super simple. The whole family will love them. That crispy, texture on the exterior skin is just incredible. Absolutely one of my favorites. So if you like this video, consider giving it a like, consider subscribing to the channel if you think we've earned it. And now I'm gonna take these inside, share it with the family. Thanks for tuning in.